Hi all, Renee here. I am here today to show you the cards that I made for Kendra's Card Challenge number 11. If you've never heard of Kendra's Card Challenge before, I'll have a link down below. Feel free to check that out. It's free. Kendra gives out all kinds of prizes. I, I can't even remember how many. There's so many. Um, you can get this free cutting guide. It shows you exactly how to cut your papers. And then it gives you the sketches for and measurements, not just sketches, but measurements as well for all of the cards. This particular one does 15 cards out of six sheets of six by six. Well, I use some 12 by 12 paper from the Cape Cod collection from Close to My Heart. Um, this collection, I think, comes with six pages total, two of each, and they're all double-sided. So I still have half the pack completely left. Plus, I only used about half to three quarters of the other paper. Usually, I would only use half of the other pages because I cut them and then cut them again to make the six by six and then use each one. Um, but I made a couple mistakes and I made a couple changes, so I'll cover that when I get to the part. Um, I also used some of the stickers, just I think just the one sticker here. And then this one, I don't always use these banners, but what I did was I used my hole punch and just punched some holes, and I'll show you where I used that. So I'm going to get those out of the way. This is the card challenge, so I will just go through each individual card. I will show you the, the card sketch. So, and excuse my printing, my printer needs some cartridges really bad, so... Yeah, it's not so pretty, but if you go to her website, you'll see it much better than this. So for card one, <clears throat> this is how I ended up doing this card. And I used um, this die. I'm not sure if it's still available. Anything that's still available, um, I will let you know down along the bottom. I'll give you the part number so that you can get it if you like. If there's no part number across the bottom of the screen right now, um, just know that it's a retired item, but most of these are like basic items. Just use what you have in your stash is what I say. So I used that for my two tags and then I used the basic circles. Of course, I must have grabbed the smaller circle for another project, but I used two different sizes of circles. So those, those are the dies I used on that. And then the, the, uh, stamp was, I used so many stamps. Uh, let's see. I don't think it was that one. I think it was this one. Floral Sentiments D2122. Again, if it's available, I'll put it along the bottom that it's available. If there's nothing on the bottom right now, that means it's retired. But it's a simple thinking of you stamp. I have a whole bunch of them. I'm sure you do as well. So that was that card. That's card number one. Let's put those somewhere. Card number two, this was really fun. Um, for the background paper, I used some paper I had in my stash that is long retired, like years retired. I don't know if you can see it in the, in the picture, but it's got a UV coating that gives it a little bit of a design on the back. And then for the stamp, it's the Miss You stamp. See, that's the problem when I go crazy and I just start grabbing stamps. So I used from Card Captions. This unfortunately is not available. It's a stamp of the month for January for 2019. Not available, but just to give you an idea. Um, and then I used, this is the stamp of the month for July. So this is available for just a couple more days. And I used that stamp right there for these two little corner pieces. I love these little kind of stamps. You can actually make your own background paper with things like that. So there is card number two. That was really fun to make. Okay, card number three. I've got stuff upside down. Card number three. <clears throat> Again, I used some old paper that I had from my stash that had that UV coating that's long since retired. I didn't have the right color paper, so I used my Triblend marker in earth brown shades in the darkest, darkest one to make the paper in the back. So that's just white cardstock. I am so sorry. White cardstock that um, I did the um, the ink on from my marker just to make it the color I needed. Then this ribbon is some ribbon that is long, long, old, old retired called Rustic, but this is what it is. And I just think that turned out really cute. Used the double, uh, the double circles, the same thinking of you as the last card. And these I just cut by hand. So very, very fun design. I like I like that that sample. Then for card four, 
that is this one. And this one is the one that I used. Um, I used that sticker with the little hat on it. And then these were cut out from um, this right here. So if you have stickers that you just know you're not going to use, um, just use them for things like that and make little embellishments. Just use what you have. It's really fun. It's a cheap little hole puncher. I think I got it from the dollar store actually years ago. And then um, I just used that circle die for that part and the rest were hand cut following the design. So that's card four. Card five... So for card five, <clears throat> I used this fun die, which I do not think is available anymore. Again, I'll put it on the bottom if it is. Um, it cuts two pieces. It cuts a frame and then a stitched rectangle. And so for the, I cut them both out of white, use the stitched rectangle to stamp the sentiment, same sentiment I used before. And then I used my dark earth brown shade to make the frame because I didn't have the color I wanted. And then this little piece is from the Cape Cod Digital Art Collection, and that is available. So feel free to check out my link down below if you're interested in that digital art collection. It is SVG, so it works in any, any die cutter, uh, any cutting machine, I'm sorry, any cutting machine that will use SVGs. For me, I use my Cricut Maker, but I also have a Silhouette and I have a brother scan and cut, both of them would be able to cut this out as well. And then for this paper right here, I used um, that paper with the UV coating to make it kind of look like it had fabric. Um, really, really fun. And this was actually left over from the wreath that I made because um, I made several different ones to see which one I like better. So I just threw them in my little bucket where I have all my extra, extra um, pieces that I've made and just used it on this card. So it was a great way to use it. Then for card number six, I love this one. And this one, you can't see it, but I heat embossed it with white um, uh, embossing powder. And this stamp was from, oh, see, that's the problem. I use way too many stamp sets. Okay, that was also from this January 2019. So this just goes to show you, if you ever see a stamp set with all kinds of sentiments and you make cards, pick it up. Believe me, you will use it. I use it all the time. Um, the other thing I did with this is I used the sanding technique that I used on a card you saw a few videos ago. Um, and I just used a, a plain old fingernail file to do this one because I couldn't find my sandpaper. So um, the fingernail file did okay. It gave it a little bit of a denim look, but it didn't give it those really deep scratches um, like I got the last time that I did this technique where I used a piece of sandpaper. Um, so it's really what you like. If you want the deep scratches, use a piece of sandpaper. If you want just a soft like this has almost like a linen look, um, just use a uh, fingernail file. So there is that one. Love how that one came out. Then we will flip this over. So this is sketch number seven. And um, for this one, again, I used that paper that I had in my stash that had the um, that UV coating on it. This hello with the oval. This is, I'm seriously thinking it's got to be six years old, more than that, because um, it was before we lived in this house and we moved into this house in 2018 and it was well before then. I just had it in that bucket of, of um, the die cuts that I figured I would use someday. And I used it. This little um, flower in the background, again, was another die cut that I have in that bucket. But it was done in, in a different color than I needed. I can't remember what color it was. But I really wanted it to be a darker shade of this color. So I grabbed my jade green shades of my Triblend marker. And I used the darkest. And I just colored it to make it the color that I wanted. So I love using markers like that way. So I highly recommend you get yourself a set of markers of some sort. I like the tri-blends um, because you get three in one. So speaking of the tri-blends, um, Close to My Heart is going to be, is not going to be carrying them anymore. Um, so if there's any that you want that you haven't been able to find locally, I would recommend checking out my store link down below. See if the color you need is there. If so, pick it up because when it's gone, it's gone. They're not going to be restocked. Okay, so sketch number eight. 
Um, I really love the way this came out. This was one that I had to recut some paper um, because the ones that I had picked out, I really didn't like too much. And truthfully, if I had it to do again, I would do all of them in this color right here, and then this uh, wood grain, because when you flip it open, there's such a good contrast between these two that I think it really looks nice. And I could have done all four with that. So I will be using this particular um, design again because I really love it. But I think I'll use something that has more of a contrast because these ones kind of get lost. This one's not so bad, but this one looks the best. So, and I used, oh, I forgot to show you the ink colors I used. So I used black, sapphire, periwinkle, and then this one is lagoon. And I also wanted the circle to stand out a little more, so I just inked around the edges of the circle. So there was that one. That's sketch number eight. Sketch number nine, really, really fun. I really like this design. And this will be a design that I think I'll use again and again because it uses such smallish pieces of paper, but they're kind of the smallish pieces of paper I usually end up with. I usually end up with like a strip. 12 inch long and you know an inch or or you know an inch and a half wide this uses seven eighths inch wide that's what all of these are so if you have a piece of paper that's seven eighths of an inch wide and just long feel free to chop it up and make something like this I think it turned out really really cute this thinking of you sweet friend this is from the July stamp of the month again like I said it's only available through the end of July um if you're curious about Stamp of the Month, real quickly, if you're a VIP, which is a great program, I have a link down below if you want to check it out, um, you get it free with a $50 purchase. If you're not a VIP, it's $5 with a $50 purchase. And then if you want to buy it just straight out, you don't want to have a $50 purchase, it's $19.95 because it's one of the larger stamp sets. But really, really cute stamp set. I've seen so many great um, artwork done with this stamp set. Um, I wish I had more time to play with it, but I've been so busy with other things. So, but that's the stamp that I used for that. And it turned out very, very cute. It fits perfectly in this little opening. Really, really fun little card. Then card number 10. This one I used an old, old Derice um, embossing folder. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it very well to see the um, the wood grain, but I wanted to pick up the wood grain from this paper. Again, this is another one that uses a very small piece, just a one inch wide piece of the of this other kind of paper. Really great to use your extra scraps. Um, again, I use that same thinking of you. I use the rustic home ribbon behind there. Um, really, really fun stamped in Lagoon. This one was really fun to make. Um, this is something I've never done before, and it happened by accident. When I was cutting out this paper, I just did it in white, and I knew that I wanted to ink it because I didn't have the color that I wanted. Um, so what I did was, when I was cutting it, it accidentally folded. And I went, I wonder what would happen, because I had, I, had, I had inked it before I cut it, because I wanted to make sure I got all the way to the edges. So then when I bent it, it was like, oh my gosh, that looks horrible. Hey, I wonder what would happen if I bent it all up, you know, just like squished it all up in a ball and then opened it up and flattened it. And then I thought, hmm, I wonder what would happen if I sanded the paper. Because I thought, you know what, I've already messed it up, so let's just keep going. This is what I ended up with, and I love it. I'm going to use this again and again. Then I also did that with um, this strip. I did not squish it up. I just left it flat, but I did ink it, and then I sanded it to get the colors that I wanted. Then this little guy actually comes from a set that is still available. Um, I love this set, and I've done a whole bunch of pieces. And whenever I do a whole bunch of pieces and just color and have fun, even though I don't have anything planned for it, my goodness gracious, this is stuck to itself. Um, even if I don't have anything planned for it and I just want to color, I'll just throw them in the envelope with the stamp set. And then when I go to use a stamp set, I'm like, oh, I may have something already. And I did. So this is something that I colored long, long ago. And let's see if I have something to put this on so you can see it. It's called uh, Life is Better at the Beach. And the piece that I used was this one right here. It comes, you can either get just the stamp set or I think the stamp and die set might still be available. 
So check that out in my store if you're interested in it. It's um, the stamp set alone is D2034. Um, I don't have the number for it with the um, die set, but if it's still available and you look up D2034, it'll show you down in the bottom related items. It'll show you the stamp and die set. So keep a lookout for that. But that's how I put this one together. Really fun. Then let's see, what are we on? We are on, I write on the back so I don't lose it, card number 12. And again, this also came from that same stamp set. I already had it, it already colored up and I just thought it was a fun little pop of color. If I had this one to do again, I would stamp this in a color that goes along with this one to continue that color. However, what I did do is stamp it in Periwinkle and it's this little, a little hello. It's an M stamp set, so it's very, very inexpensive. M1318. And I really like that. You'll see that I've used it quite a bit on some more of these cards. But really fun. This is just a uh, craft card stock in the background. I thought it worked really well with all the colors. They're real muted. And then that starfish again popping out. The starfish and this little guy were both colored with tri-blend markers. However, I don't know what colors since I colored these years ago and they were just in the pocket. So there's that. Getting to the end, We've got three more cards to go. <clears throat> so this one, I love how this one came out. It's so cute. Um, for this one, I use this um, die. I have no idea where I got this, seriously. Um, it's not the same color metal as the Close to My Heart one, so I don't know if it was a Close to My Heart one, although is it the same color? It is the same color as this. So it may be an old Close to My Heart one, if I find something that's similar, I'll put it along the bottom of the screen. Um, again, I did the little hello from me to you, little stamp set with the Lagoon ink. And then these were just some little um, embellishments that I had in my stash, just trying to use through what I have. Um, really, really fun, cute little card. And again, this uses very small pieces of, of pattern paper. So this would be a great one to use up your little, your little pieces here and there. Then card number 14, I love the way this came out. And <clears throat> I really like how um, it's off-centered, but it's it doesn't, I don't think it looks messy. Now I did leave off, it's, um, this had this little guy right here. Because of the way I stamped this, I couldn't put that over. So I had to leave it off. So if you make something like this, um, keep that in mind to keep your stamp either small or, um, leave off the little string across it. Now I did add some little dots. I think that looks really cute. So I pretty much, you know, did the same pattern, the same just same design, um, just left a little bit off just because I messed it up when I stamped. And the You Make Me So Very Happy is from, from, see, here I go again. I can't remember when I've used things and where I've used them from. Well, I didn't even pull that one out. I don't know what I did with it. I don't think it's in here. <clears throat> oh, yes, it is. It's right there. It's right there. These stamp sets were the ones that came in those card kits, um, the subscription card kits that I used to use um, that unfortunately have been discontinued. Um, however, I did hear that they are bringing back something similar but it won't be a subscription. So you'll be able to see exactly what you're buying, I think. There's a new uh, new main catalog, they're calling it.